Here's our second example of calculating work with springs. This one says if two joules of work stretches a spring from its natural length of 30 centimeters to 42 centimeters, how much work is required to stretch it from 35 centimeters to 42 centimeters? Now first of all, recognize that we're using metric units here. So before we get started, it might be helpful to recall that we're going to convert all of these centimeter measurements into meter measurements when it comes to actually doing calculations. So I'll just make a note here that 100 centimeters equals one meter, which we'll use when it comes to making calculations. Also remember what we're looking for. Work is the integral of the force function and with springs that force function is kx. So the pieces we need to fill into this formula are k and then the limits a and b. So our first problem is to find the stiffness of the spring k. The way this one's set up for us is different than the previous one. The previous one gave us the force required to hold the spring at a certain point. And from that we could work backwards to the stiffness of the spring. This one gives us a different statement that's similar, but this one tells us how much work is required to stretch at a certain distance. So instead of giving us a force, it gives us a work, but we can still use that to calculate the stiffness of the spring. We just have to be a little bit more careful about it. So instead of starting with F equals KX, plugging in the known F and X values, we're actually gonna use this work formula here. Notice that what we're given is the work and then the limits of integration. And from that, if we integrate with K as a variable and carry it through, then we can solve for it at the end. So we'll carry K along through the problem as this unknown stiffness constant. And then after integrating, we can solve for it. Let me show you how that works. So we'll set up this formula with two in the place of work. And then for the limits of integration, notice that that's stretching from its natural length of 30. So it's starting at x equals zero because x represents the distance from the natural length. And so if it's starting at that natural length, the initial point will be x equals zero. At the upper limit of 42 centimeters, it's been stretched from 30 to 42. So it's been stretched a total of 12 centimeters, which is 0.12 meters. We want to use standard units for these things so that everything is consistent. We can solve this even with k being unknown. If we integrate, we get kx squared over 2. And then we can plug in 0 0.12 and 0 for x. So we have 1 half times k times 0 0.12 squared minus 1 half times k times 0 squared, of course. Then if we multiply this out, we'll get 0 0.0072 times k equals 2 which means that k equals 2 divided by 0 0.0072, which works out to about 280 newtons per meter. So we're solving for it just like we did in the previous problem, but instead of working with f equals kx, we're using with the other relationship where k leads to, in this case, work instead of force. So once we know that, now we can calculate the work for the problem we're interested in. So now we can work with the known stiffness and find the unknown work. So now we just need the other limits of integration for this question we're asked. Now we're looking to stretch it from 35 to 42 centimeters. The 35 is five centimeters beyond the natural length and the 42 is 12 centimeters beyond the natural length. So that would be x equals 0 0.05 and 0 0.12. Again, remember we're, we're converting the 
centimeter measurements into meters to keep everything in standard units. Now we can integrate just like we did before. This turns into 1 half times 277.8 x squared. We can plug in the limits of integration as before. And then we just need to carry out the calculation. And that turns out to be 1.65, approximately 1.65 joules. So when you're doing a spring problem, the first step is always to find the stiffness of the spring K. In the previous example, we showed how to do that if the initial statement involved the force that was required to stretch at a certain distance. This one, we were given the work required to stretch at a certain distance, and we can still use that to find K. But however you do it, the goal is to start by finding K, and then once you know that, the work is just the integral of K times X. So all spring problems that you'll run across in this class will fall into one of those two categories where you start by finding K either using a force statement or a work statement and then you integrate from there. So they're fairly straightforward once you know what you're looking for.